I then wanted to take some of the things we were learning in the classroom and that we were using outside the classroom too and explore how valuable was it really. So I got with our ITRT and, and I was showing her what I would have normally done for her a project. And she said, oh, that's neat. You could really do an ILO, an interactive learning object, which is kind of like a kiosk that you might have at a museum. And I said, that would be fun. And, and I said, to test it out, if we do a good enough job with this, then our students that are in the um, functional academic classes, they could be like tour guides. And we could invite people from central office to come into our library and have the tour guides guide them through the emperors of Rome. And they know nothing about Latin. And if the interactive learning object was good, then it should be worth it. And sure enough, my students were able to take Google Slides and put like an element that was like website-ish. We create these little buttons on it. You click on the button, it sends you to a portion of the slide, almost like PowerPoint used to do. And we did Jeopardy games and it clicks around. And sure enough, the functional academic students came in, they had their laptop, their foldable laptop. And the thing is, my students said, gosh, we learned so many skills about how to present and actually how to problem solve. They were learning things I didn't know. The ITRT was just like throwing stuff out, like you could do this or you could do that, you could do this. And I was like, you gotta stop. You're giving us too many options. But the kids just kept taking it in and, and it was neat. Um, one student group did um, an exploration in Google Maps and Google Earth. And so they're like, okay, we're gonna do like a, a self-guided tour of a portion of the city of Rome. And then they had information as you data dropped it around. It. So, so when we say like, that online interaction, like that's exactly what it is.